at the time of the repatriation of her body in the Prime Minister's office communicated to Chief of Defence Staff Rick Hillier saying, do not let the Airbus land. Or if it lands, make sure it turns away from the cameras so that no one can see the body being offloaded. Or land the plane at night. Or do the ceremony behind a hangar. Or bar everyone from the airfield. I don't mean to be political. It may well be that the Prime Minister's office was concerned with the privacy of the families not for the political embarrassment created by flag drift to Cassius. However, the Canadian public cried out to say, we wish to see our war dead, and we wish to honor them. And we wish voluntarily to be struck by the awesome wrongness and sadness the death of these young people. So the highway of heroes became a reality. Thank goodness. In year 722 BC, another sensitive observer stood beside another highway of heroes, the Jericho Road, a roadway which connected together the way of the sea via Maris. And to the east of the Jordan, the highway of kings. And he watched the soldiers coming back from war. And he went to the king of Judah, and he said to the king, I have seen the soldiers coming back, he said. My heart is broken. And I plead with you, Hezekiah, if ever you have a chance to make peace, do so. The day is coming when the nations shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hearts, and nation shall never go to war against nation again. He went back to the highway of heroes and watched again as the soldiers returned, and this time he went to Hezekiah and he said, Hezekiah, if you ever have a chance to make peace, do so. Because I have seen the soldiers returning from war, the living and the dead. In Isaiah 9, 5, he says, I know the day is coming when every boot of warrior and every garment soaked in blood will be cast into the fire. Unto us a son is born, a child is given. His name shall be the Prince of we all need to stand by the highway of heroes today and tomorrow and we need to watch and we need to honor and we need to listen and we need to respond with a profound sense of thanksgiving for all that we have a profound sense of sadness for all that has been lost and a profound sense that if ever there is a chance to make peace, we will do so. We give thanks today for the young people continuing to serve in Afghanistan, for those who have already given their lives, for those Canadian soldiers who have served and died, served and suffered, some of whom are here today. Thankful to you. We honor you. We hear the message you bring. And we will never turn away from you. We will be a people who will seek peace in order that we may honor your sacrifice, which gave us freedom and honor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.